Meet Projects, your essential workspace where you can navigate between every video, ad, or concept you are working on. Here is how we created an ad for a brand called Zing. You can start your project at any point you choose. Let's begin by creating a new project. This takes you directly to an empty gen space. Name your project and start creating. Be specific when crafting prompts by strictly defining the framing and subject position to establish a clear visual hierarchy. Focus on describing physical properties to control the atmosphere and depth. Group your assets in sessions to keep your workflow organized from the start. A session separates the generations for a specific moment from the rest of the project. It can focus on a shot or a full scene. Build out your scene using images as references to create additional angles, leveraging the model's realism, consistency, and editing capabilities. As you iterate, mark your top choices by clicking the Fav icon on the image. To quickly compare your best options without the clutter, just click the Favorites filter in the top right to see only your saved shots. You can also delete the ones that aren't useful to keep your workspace clean. When you are happy with your image, switch to the storyboard section to create a new blank one. This step allows you to envision your concept or scene shot by shot. Switch back to Genspace and send your image to the first shot. Once all your assets are added, you can use the storyboard to view your full sequence. Here you can reorder shots or edit any specific image with one click. This takes you instantly back to the original session where your image can be adjusted. After editing, you can send the result directly to a specific shot in the storyboard to replace it, or use the Shot Navigator, which mirrors your storyboard inside Genspace, to add a new shot and assign the image to it. Now that your shots are in place, you can share your project with your team before or after adding motion. To add motion, use the Shot Navigator and simply click on the shot you want to animate. This takes you directly to the right session. Since you marked as a favorite, it's easy to identify. Upscale the shot to ensure the highest quality for your video generation. Click Create Video, describe the action, camera movement, and add some details about how the shot should look like. Select the model that fit your needs and click Generate. Um, blind dates are always a bit awkward, right? So, what do you like to do? Now, let's stitch all those shots together into a complete ad. In the editor, you can add each clip, make edits, even add sounds or voiceover. You can directly import your storyboard you created earlier. And if you need to add a shot, you can navigate through this project or any other, filtering by favorites, type, or the workspace it belongs to. You can also jump back to Genspace to add a new shot, apply to clip, apply changes, and go back to the timeline. Here you can add sound effects and music or a voiceover from the tab below. Once you finish editing, export your video and you're ready to go. Blind dates are always a bit awkward, right? So what do you like to do? I like to collect birds and I'm looking to find my love bird. I specifically love getting ready for the big fight. This is Lydia. Oh, the smell of the garage in the morning. Where's my money, Craig? <laughs> Stop going on blind dates. Go on Zing now.